that makes people lose interest in us. Listen, these are 10 things. I'm not going to waste your time. These are 10 things that we do sometimes consciously or unconsciously that makes people lose interest in us. We don't really see it sometimes because we're not paying attention. We are on the other side. Sometimes we're not, you know, we're busy or we have a life going on and we don't even realize what we are doing to make them lose interest. If you understand these are 10 things that we do that make people lose interest, you might be aware of these things, okay? These behaviors. Let's get into it. Number one, we stop doing what we were doing in the beginning. A lot of times we meet people and we impress them. We, you know, we begin to do the things to impress them. We begin to lead by doing all these things. Sometimes things that we align about, things that we don't really want to do, things to impress them, and we, it dries up. We stop doing it because we get tired or because it's not the real us. So a lot, a lot of times people lose interest because we stop doing what we was doing in the first couple of weeks. And people notice that. And when you stop doing those things, people read it as you are no longer interested. So they back off too. Now, sometimes you stop doing these things because, you know, you did it and you show them that you like them. And then you you come to your real natural self and you stop. They take it as, well, you were doing it. Now you stop doing it. You must not like me anymore. And a lot of times this is what we do. So if you're going to do something, learn to extend it. Learn to keep doing it. So do what you really want to do. Be who you are so that you can continue the same flow of who you are. Number two, people lose interest when you stop communicating with them. A lot of times we start out the communication very strong. We text in every minute, talking every minute, and bam, sometimes it stops because we, we talk too much. But a lot of times when communication stops or when communication slows down or when you take two days to text somebody, people lose interest because they realize that, you know, you're not taking them seriously. So if, you know, sometimes you have your life going on, like I said, you have your, you know, you're a single parent, single mother doing your thing, and it takes you 16 hours to respond. Sometimes people lose interest. And a lot of times you have to know this, whether you're doing it intentionally or unintentionally, it happens. Number three, people lose interest when they catch you in a lie. If they catch you, no matter how small the lie is, it's not even about how small it is. It's about now, they don't know if they can trust you again. They don't know if everything that you have told them up to this point was a lie. So they begin to pull back, they begin to lose interest. When you catch somebody in a lie, especially in the first few weeks, I will recommend that you pull back too. I will tell you, I will advise you to pull back because then if you're lying this early in the relationship, I don't trust this. Wherever we go, and I know that you start out lying, I know it's gonna be hell, right? So when you catch somebody in a lie, people lose interest. Number four, when you're trying to hit it too quickly, this is not just men that do this. Believe it or not, women do this too. You're trying to lay down too early. I remember me personally, when, when I met my lady, I wanted to take a while to lay down with her just to make sure I like her. Because a lot of times when you just quick to lay down with somebody, after a while the emotion goes because now the hormones, the curiosity, it is gone and they have nothing left. So understand, a lot of times, it's, I guess it's a turnoff too. Like, is that all you want? Here I am looking for a relationship, a partner, and you want to hit. So a lot of times, men and women will lose interest if you are too quickly ready to want to hit. And a lot of times, it's a bad sign. When somebody was ready to hit that much, they are too anxious. I don't know what they want. They don't want what you think they want. They want something else. So that's how people take it. If you want to hit me second, third day, if you want to hit, Fourth day, fifth day, I don't trust it. People don't trust it either. So understand, people lose interest in you for that reason. Number five, they're trying to move too fast in a relationship. They were trying to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. They're trying to get married. They're trying to live together. They're trying to move in. They're ready. Listen, we just met a couple weeks. You're already talking about marriage. You're already talking about commitment. You're already talking about let's continue. Listen, it's too fast. People, especially for men, Men will back off when you start talking about all this mess about relationship in the first couple of weeks because we're just getting to know each other. We're just dating. So a lot of men will back off because it's crazy to talk to us. It's a big red flag. When you begin to move too fast, when we first just met, when we just met and you try to move too fast, it turns men off. Yes, there's a question that you can ask. Listen, I'm dating for a relationship. What are you doing? Uh, is your purpose of dating for a relationship or just to date? That's different. That is something that you should know. If somebody tells you that they are dating to, you know, for a relationship or to, you know, for, for marriage, then okay, then there is no rush. 
get to know the person, talk, hang out, date, eat food, go to drink some milk, eat some cheesecake or some hard chocolate chip cookies, some crispy ones or the, the soft, gooey ones with the chocolate chip, and an ice cream on top, like little bees. It's, it's oh, chilies. But understand this. If you try to move fast, it's a turn off. People will, and people will question, you know what? Why are you trying to give put this on me so quick? Because people with value, people with, with worth, they don't give themselves away that easily. Not in the first couple of weeks, anyways. I'm just saying, think about it. Number six. A lot of times people lose interest, and this is something that's very unconscious because you are so afraid. A lot of women, when they reach a certain stage in, a, in dating, they become afraid, they become, they become anxious. They don't, they question, does he really like me? And what, what if he stop liking me? What if he move on? What if he goes me? And that energy that you are gonna start to carry is gonna be repellent. It's gonna repel anyone who comes close because, but you don't realize that your energy is actually making you do stupid things that push people away. They, they, you know, the questions that you begin to ask is based on that energy. Your behaviors, the way how you stop trusting what they are saying or what they are doing because you already have that idea in your mind and you're working towards it. And a lot of times you sabotage your own relationship. But I'm telling you, when you start with them distrusting, uh, I don't, you know, I don't trust men and I don't trust people because I usually men will lie on this and this because at this stage, you, you are scared. At this stage, your feelings are involved, your emotions, I mean, your emotions are involved and you are afraid. So you're going to start making stupid comments. What you need to do is be still, relax, just keep flowing how you are flowing. They already like you, just like that. Just keep doing what you are doing. Just keep being you, keep being the same person that you started out being, and it will flow perfectly fine. A lot of you, in the first month, you get stuck, you get scared, you get anxious, thinking that the last person did this, and what if I'm not doing enough? What should I be doing now? Asking those questions, just continue being relaxed. You are the most attractive when you are relaxed. Relax, chill out. Okay? Number seven, people stop, people begin to lose interest when you begin to break promises. Hey, I'll go out and let's go out Saturday night. Saturday night comes, you change your mind. I can't. I'm going to work. Hey, I'm going to come see you after Sunday night. Sunday night comes. Hey, I can't. You, you're breaking promises. Hey, I promise to come and, you know, this. I promise to come and check it. You're breaking promises. And when you start to break promises, people begin to break respect. They begin to lose respect for you because this is your word and your word should be your bond. So when you start to break promises in the first stages, people begin to lose interest. They don't trust you. Okay. Number eight, people begin to lose interest when you talk too much in the beginning. You got to slow it down, relax. They ain't going nowhere. They've been single for 28 years. They ain't going nowhere. Anybody want them anyways. Anybody want you or them. You all ain't going nowhere. What you rushing for? You know, you ain't got to talk six, 17 hours in the afternoon. Because when you start to do that, don't get me wrong, in the beginning, it's, ex it's very exciting. It's very exciting. It's, you get to know somebody, you like how they talk, you like their voice, and it makes you giggle. <laughs> right? It makes you giggle, and you, you know, you're excited. But I'm telling you, talking too much in the beginning is going to, because after a while, it must lessen, it must Digress, it must slow down. And when it slows down, you panic. You always panic. But understand this, man. When you talk too much in the beginning, a lot of times people lose interest because they get bored. They, they don't want to talk more. They talk to you every single minute. They're tired of talking to you. They don't want to talk. Space it out. Get a life. Have your life. Live your life. Be occupied. Live your damn life so that you won't have to use them as every minute of your day. People get bored of you. It's kind of boring. Number nine, talking about yourself, only yourself. You ever had a conversation with someone who just only talked about themselves? Well, yeah, well, so I, so this is what I like. So this is what I do. So tomorrow I'm going to do this song. It's me, 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 me. And people listening to you, looking at you like, man, that's such a turn off. You don't ask them about themselves. You don't bring them into conversation. You don't ask them what they like. You just talk, 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 talk. It's only about you. It's only you. You're the only one. And people are turned off and people don't want to see you. No matter how cute or sexy or attractive or handsome you are, you will turn people off only talking about you. Include them in the conversation. Damn, it's, it's a conversation. It's a dialogue. Two people. 
include them in the conversation because a lot of you don't include people who talk about you because you think that is all that matters. Learn how to be quiet, become aware of when you are speaking and ask them about themselves. So ask them questions, talk about them. Hey, so how about you? What do you do for fun? What? Let them talk about them because a lot, of a lot of you are getting into relationships and you never heard a damn thing about the other person because you've been talking about yourself. So you're still lost. You don't know who they are because all you want to do is talk. So understand, that's a big turn off. And lastly, you are not trying to learn about the other person. Imagine meeting somebody and they don't ask you nothing about yourself. They don't ask you about your family, if you have kids, what you do for fun, what you do for a living, your life, your personal life. It's not really anybody asks you those questions, people lose interest. You're like, what do you want? You don't want me. You want to play games. You're not serious. You can't be serious. You must be playing with me. And a lot of times you turn people off. I personally will be turned off if you, do, you don't know anything about me. What do you want? That means it must be a booty call. It must be just based on sex. Because when people don't want to know about you, it's just based on sex. It's sexual reason. So you have to understand why they do it. Listen, these are 10 things that make someone lose interest. Many of us do these things and we're not aware. We're not self-aware. And everybody loses interest. If you want somebody to keep interest, to hold their interest in you, you want to be a pleasant energy to be around. You got to be a pleasant energy to be around. A pleasant energy, not no complaining, whiny, annoyed, grouchy, entitled energy. That Nobody want to be around that. You repel everything that's good and you attract everything that's low vibrational. People abusing you, disrespecting because that's what you attract. The energy is that. Ugh. If you want to keep somebody's presence, be the light. You got to be the light. Turn the light on. Turn the switch on. Be the light. Feel good. Feel like you're good company. Feel free. Feel peaceful. Feel amazing. Feel attractive. And when you begin to feel those things, the energy begins to project on the other, I mean, the, the other person. And they begin to love being around your space. They begin to love being in your company. And it becomes to be a connection. That person wants to be around you. But when you think that you are entitled, when you can just... I'm blunt and I'm, I'll just I'll just be blunt and I say what I want to say and I don't care that you love me for me. Nobody loves you for you. They just they don't love you yet. They don't know who you are. They don't have no idea who you are. So you gotta be mindful. You you gotta be mindful, man. You gotta be mindful. Be that energy that you want to be around. When you can be that energy, people are gonna love you. A lot of you pick up this energy of fear and insecurities, thinking about the last person who dumped you, the last one who ghosted you. And since that's on your mind, it's in your energy too, it's in your spirit. As above, so below, it's in your energy, it's in your thoughts. And that pushes that people person away because you begin to do and say stupid things that push people away. Understand if you wanna keep people around, be relaxed. A relaxed energy makes people wanna come near you. When you are relaxed and peaceful, Everyone, everybody wants to be around you. You are that one. When you understand this, your relationship, your dating will flourish. It's not that hard. We're just not aware of ourselves, of our energy, of our emotions, of our look in our face. So understand, man, this is very simple. It's 10 things to make someone lose interest. Follow these steps. Understand this is just me giving the examples. Understand that there's a lot more that we do that we are unaware of. Become, become self-aware. You see. All right. Hey, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know your experience. Let me know what, which one you lack and which one caught you off guard. Or let me know your experience when it comes to dating. Who did what? When they did it? How they did it? All right. Let me know in the comments. You all have a beautiful day. Learn to be free and relaxed. All right. Peace.